An exhibition featuring over 200 never-before-seen and rarely-seen works by Jean-Michel Basquiat are being exhibited by the family with a mission to make public his young life. Basquiat, who died in 1988 at the age of 27, left works representing paintings, drawings, ephemera and artifacts that have ended up in the private art collection of celebrities like Yoko Ono and David Bowie. We curated to every little detail. Um, and these are all things that were inspiration for Jean-Michel. The music that we heard when we were children, the songs that we listened to, the movies that we watched, the um, TV shows that we watched on Saturday mornings, all of that is incorporated into this exhibition. Mm. And a lot of the items that are in the show are original pieces. Jean-Michel was a very social being also, mm -hmm. so he knew a lot of people. And one of the things that's different about this exhibition is that there are people who may have spent some time with him, knew him for a few weeks or a few months or a few years, and knew him in a very specific point of time. And so we are really the only people that can really put some context around that and give the perspective of our family. Hmm. The sisters have never taken on a project of this scale. They started organizing pieces in 2017, but felt that they still needed time. But the murder of George Floyd in 2020 motivated them to get off the ground. I think now is just the right time in order to show a parallel between uh, the, the voices and the narrative of what's being discussed today and parallel that to what he is saying in his paintings. Um, it is unfortunate that we are still having this conversation, but hopefully people will understand and get an understanding of what black people experience on a daily basis. Tickets for the exhibition are available through Labor Day as of now, and an end date will be determined by public interest.